I remember the moment like it was yesterday. Like it was right now. Fourth quarter, AFC wildcard game. Uh, second down, had about a foot to go, and I knew I had to make something happen. Some things in life are best left unspoken, and that play is one. Play action, I roll right, and when I went to release the ball, I was off balance, and my, my foot went forward, and I just knew. You're gonna be a football player when you do Twenty years ago, Frank Cushman was the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. After winning two Super Bowl rings as John Elway's backup in Denver, he won the Broncos' starting job in 1999. That's a tough task to ask somebody to, to come in here and follow a legend like John Elway. Cushman already three touchdowns on the day and the gun rolling to his right. Here comes pressure. He's got time. Shannon Sharp. Touchdown, Broncos. Cush was clicking him, man. He was hitting everything. I mean, the deep balls, he was breaking the pocket, scrambling. He was, he was being that guy. I mean, we saw everything that they had drafted him to be. It just came to fruition. We Cushmans have always been the, the picture of health and virility, stronger than oak. And my son was in the prime of his life. In 2000, Cush led Denver to the AFC wildcard game before two words ended his career and changed his life forever. I can't even say it. Athlete's foot. People don't know how serious athlete's foot can become. One time, I think they were playing the Redskins, in the huddle, he's scratching his feet. And, you know, they, they had a delay a game, and that was the beginning. We knew something was really, this was an acute case of athlete's foot that Cush had. I told my son to take care of it, but he's too proud. He just let it rot. At first, I was in denial, you know? How could this happen to me? You know how hard it is to get an NFL football team to sign off on a guy with athlete's foot? I got laughed off the phones more times than you can count. That's when I learned how many other people suffer from it, too. I had athlete's foot in 2008. Only gained 1,500 yards from scrimmage that year. I've had a few foot injuries in my day, but athlete's foot, we call that the widow maker. It was a fast moving strain. The doctors were able to save his foot, but not his career. To have it come to an end like that, man, that was, that was devastating to him. All I know is my, my foot was never the same. In the darkest of moments, Frank Cushman lost a career, but gained a purpose. This experience made me realize how many kids suffer from unconventional ailments. You know, ones that may not be as cool as a torn MCL or as hip as a microfracture, but are just as deserving of attention. The former superstar footed the bill to establish the Frank Cushman Children's Rehabilitation Clinic for kids with misunderstood and underestimated sports ailments. We're gonna fix you up good, okay? We're not just talking athlete's foot. You know, we're, we're talking tennis elbow, swimmer's ear, shin splints. There's a whole world of athletic pain that we barely understand. One of the clinic's founding donations came from my first agent, Pure Class. Not everyone was so generous. I'm trying to make him money and he's out there spending money trying to help people with diaper rash. My soccer coach said that if my nose bleeds on a shirt one more time, then I'm off the team. I had to miss two straight days of recess because of my shin splints. It was devastating. He played in the NFL? I thought he fixed cars or something. Well, at least he really cares about my foot fungus. Seeing how grateful these kids are and, and, and knowing that I played such a huge role in really in saving their lives. That's where his passion is now. And it's the same passion that I saw when he was in that huddle. It's the look of somebody who's determined and who wants to make a difference. This is what it's all about. 
Today, 20 years after he took those fateful steps across the stage at Radio City Music Hall, Cush still has big ambitions. I dream of a future where nobody has even heard of Athlete's Foot. Not because it's obscure, but because it's been eradicated. A future where my grandkids can walk the earth without ever feeling the burden that I carried. The choir must have influenced my son more than I realized. He's, he's become an actual humanitarian. And he really does love those little bastards. <laughs>